In this episode, we're going to be talking about why and how the picture that you have of your future you is influencing the success that you are experiencing or not experiencing in your business today. Are you ready? Hey, it's Jess, and you're listening to the Crush It With Confidence podcast for online service providers that are ready to create their own future. Life is happening for you, not to you. So let's do this. Welcome back to episode nine. I'm really excited for this episode today because this is something that I have invested a lot of time in personally recently, not just with myself, but also with the people around me. So what I want to talk about today is how that future you, that image that you have of yourself in the future and all of the things that surround you influences or determines the success that you are seeing in your business today or if we spin this around, how that lack of a clear picture influences the success that you are not seeing in your business. I This is something I've personally experienced and this is a work in progress still on my front. There are some areas I'm very clear on and then there are other areas where, where there are still question marks for me that I'm working through basically. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is how your vision, your goal, and your plan are directly connected to each other, but they're not the same thing. Then we're going to talk about what I actually mean when I say your vision for your life. This is a word that's used a lot, and I want to look at how I put kind of my spin on the term vision. Then I want to talk about what you might be experiencing when you're lacking a vision for your life as a whole. And then we're going to dive into all of those things that you're going to get when your vision is super, super, super clear. Okay, so let's let's dive in by looking at all of these words that I'm throwing around. So vision, goals and plan are very, very closely related. If you are lacking one of those three, you are not going to see the progress that you think you should be seeing. However, they are not the same thing. So if you have a plan, so you have some steps that you are meaning to take every day, every week, every month, every quarter, every year, whatever it is. If you have that plan and you implement it, but you don't have a fixed goal, then you're not going to see the results that you think you should be seeing. So you could be doing an awful lot of work, you could be very, very, very busy, but you might find that your bank balance doesn't resemble or doesn't um, reflect the amount of work that you've been putting in, right? If you set a goal without having a clear vision behind that goal, you will find that that goal is almost an empty goal. There will be absolutely no feeling of joy, contentment, achievement, anything like that when you achieve it. So it will bring you progress. It may make your bank balance look healthier, but if there is no meaning to that goal, it's going to feel extremely empty and it might not even bring you necessarily closer to an outcome that you love. Um, That happens a lot, a lot more than you think it does and... It's basically those people that have built a thriving business that have a huge turnover and then they go and say, but I hate what I do. Like I built this business and it's just kind of like taken on a life of its own and I'm absolutely zero passionate about it. Yeah. So this is something we see really common happens all the time. And if that's what's affecting you right now, and if you've built a successful business and you're looking at it every day and you think, oh my God, I hate what I built. Like, this isn't taking me any closer to how I want my life to be. Like, I wanted to work less, not more. I didn't want this huge team. I didn't want this. I want that. Then don't worry about it. Like, feel free to get in touch with me because I can help you to change the business that you do have right now into the business that you actually want. And you don't have to lose everything in the process. It's unlikely that you'll have to lose everything in the process. Okay, so it is salvageable. All right, so with that said, the vision is basically the key part to any progress in your business. If you take out a dictionary and you look at the definition of the, of the word vision, 
it will say that a vision is the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination or wisdom. And these are two, two super key pieces. There's a creative piece, right? To have imagination, you need to dream, you need creativity, you need freedom, you need space, mental, physical space, emotional space to allow yourself to really dive into it and to really get creative and to think of all the possibilities. This is a creative part, you know, to creating a vision. But you also need insight and knowledge, okay? So once you have that creative part, there may also be other things that you have to bear in mind when you're looking at that specific vision. And that might take some amount of rational thinking, insight, wisdom, knowledge, okay? So two pieces to creating that future picture of our entire life. So what happens when your vision is actually lacking? This is something, like I said, that I have personally experienced and it's extremely difficult to understand why it's happening and then you realize that it's because you are not clear on where you're going and that has a whole load of influence on your life, on your business. Um, in your business, you might find that you start one million projects, you want to do them all at the same time, and then you just don't finish any of them ever. You might find that you are doing all the work, but you still have this itch to find what it is that you really, really, really want. Like, you know that feeling of like, wanting to just throw it all out the window and get up and go to figure out what is the thing that you actually want? Yeah, that one. I had that an awful lot. You might find that although you have achieved loads of things, things in your life still seem kind of out of place. So you might have all the stuff in the world that you want, all the car in the world that, you know, that you've been saving up for, but it still doesn't seem to satisfy you. You may experience a sensation that you're lacking purpose so you might have thoughts around you know why am I here what is my true gift to share you know all of those kind of thoughts if they keep popping into your mind that might be a sign that um, you're not entirely sure where you're actually headed you might also get this strong feeling that there's something more out there for you that you have more to give and you're not really sharing that right now so that's another sensation that I experience like pretty intensely. And you might find that achieving your business goals doesn't actually satisfy you. So you had an income goal to make it to 5k per month and you've done that, but the result is that you're working in a way that you are super unhappy with. You know, you're working long hours, you have to work late in the evenings, you've, you're resenting your clients, you know, there's a lot of feelings that can come up around that and it's often because the business that you built isn't actually the business that you love. So it may be time to get together and do a little bit of a planning session and look at how you can make the shift to what it is that you think you want. But to be able to do that, you need the vision of where it is that you're going because otherwise any change that you're making to your business is still not going to make you happier. It's still not going to make you feel more satisfied or bring you closer to that dream life that you want to have, right? So let's look at why this vision is so important and what will happen when you become super clear on it. Okay, point number one of why vision is so important. Vision gives you clarity and it is an amazing feeling. So instead of thinking every time you have some brain space available, oh, what is it that I'm supposed to be doing with my life? I feel like there's so much more out there. I feel like I have this purpose, but I'm not really sure what it is and I'm surely not delivering on it right now. I have a gift that I need to share, but oh, I'm, I'm not really doing that right now. So instead of having these thoughts, having that picture of where you're headed gives you the thought that, okay, this is where I'm going to be in five years time. This is the person that I am becoming and this is the results that I'm going to get for other people and that's how it's all going to feel. So your clear focus on that destination 
lets you take that inspired action, that imperfect action sometimes that you need to take every day towards achieving that. Imagine sitting on a train with no idea where the train is going. You walk into, I don't know, King's Cross Station, you take the first train, you sit on it, the indicators are broken, like, you know, the displays aren't working and you have no idea where that train is going. How does that feel? That's pretty unsettling, right? Because you have no idea where you're going, you have nowhere to sleep, you, you don't know what's happening when you get to wherever the train ends. You don't even know, you know, if you're in a station that has international trains, God knows where you could end up, in a whole different country. Imagine though getting on the train knowing that you are traveling up north and you have a hotel booked and there's an event that you're going to and you're really looking forward to seeing the people that you're meeting there and you know you feel like that train journey has a purpose even if it's eight hours long, even if there's obstacles, even if there's delays on the train, you remain content, you remain focused on the goal of getting there. And can you see how that is a completely different feeling, a completely different vibe? So that is the clarity that vision gives you. Knowing the destination is like half the battle won because once you're clear on that destination, you will keep moving towards it no matter what the obstacle is. Point number two is that your vision is an immense motivator. When you know where you're going, you set goals that take you there and you keep taking action. It really gives you that momentum that you need to make shit happen and it gets you to keep that momentum, right? Getting momentum is easy, but keeping that going every day, particularly when stuff is not going to plan, when you have to, you know, delay projects or when clients leave because they're not happy, like there's going to be obstacles along the way. But when you know that destination, like I said on the train, you will keep going. That momentum doesn't stop. You will keep moving. You will keep hitting those goals. Point number three is it gives you strength. Running a business can take an awful lot out of you, particularly emotionally. There are so many ups and downs. They come so quickly. The feelings are so intense that some days you will feel like you just want to throw it all out, you know. I had a day like that, how long ago? Maybe two weeks ago? It was like setback after setback after setback. And after the third or fourth one, I had like a massive meltdown, <laughs> probably much to the annoyance of other people around. But it just got too much, you know. But then I thought back to where am I going? Why am I doing this? And it gives you the strength that you need to pick yourself up, dust yourself off and get back to work, which is what you need to do. You can't just give up. Sometimes or a lot of the times we try and try and try and try. And then when we're just, you know, centimeters away from reaching out to that goal and getting there, we stop and we give up because, you know, what's the point? When you have that vision, it is way harder for you to actually pack it in. It's way harder for you to listen to your fears telling you that, you know, you can't do this. This is scary. Like, you, you better not go there. When you have that vision, you just go, well, you know, thanks for that, but I need to do this. So let's go and move on. Having a really clear vision also allows you to set the right goals. Okay? So... When you're running a business, there could be a bajillion different goals that you're setting. There could be different focus areas. Um, there are different things that you might want to invest money into. When you have a vision, setting that goal becomes easier because you know how much that vision is going to cost you. You know which areas in your business you're going to need to take action in to bring in that amount of revenue. Um, you know from your vision how many hours you want to be working. So you can decide which types of offers you might create in your business. So having that clear vision allows you to set goals and then choose focus areas that actually help you to achieve the right goals. And it makes it less likely that you end up with a business that you will hate at some point. Although it's normal if that does happen. Having a vision beyond yourself, it gives you meaning and purpose. So it is not a case of getting up every day thinking, what the heck am I doing with my life? 
you know me having this podcast me creating videos on youtube me working with new service providers me working with service providers that are growing agencies it gives me a purpose beyond just getting up and doing my work because i know that i'm not just helping myself i'm helping other people and that has like a ripple effect so maybe right now my advice to you is helping you and then you are taking that advice and you are implementing that in your business and therefore you are helping more people you are helping more people as a service provider you are helping your friends by you know being more supportive to them you're helping other service providers by sharing the things that you are learning and we are all connected so it has this huge it has this huge knock-on effect basically and that is the bit that really motivates me to go out there because i know that even if only 10 people listen to this they're going to take something away from it and impact more people. And that makes me feel really good about putting these episodes out. So you see how me having that vision of getting people the life that they really want, how that really motivates me to keep doing the things that I'm doing, even if the results aren't what I would expect them to be, even if there's difficulties in the process. I know why I am doing this. It gives me that huge boost to keep taking action, to keep doing this. Another thing that having a clear vision will do is that if you're working with a team right now, so if you are scaling up and you're no longer a solopreneur, if you like to use that word, but you're working with other people in your business, um, it will cheer them on to do their part to help you get towards your vision. Because they can see that you are filled with passion, they can see that you've got this fire burning, and they are going to do their part. It, it's almost contagious, and it's so funny to see. When you have no plan, no goals, no fire, it is, it is like, ugh, you know? It's slow, and there is no passion in it. Whereas when you bring this passion, it rubs off on other people and they will start to do their piece that needs to be done to get towards that ultimate goal. Number seven, your vision is just absolutely powerful. You have to understand that when you think about that future you, it is not a dream that you have about yourself. It is just a reality that hasn't happened yet. But it will happen. The more you focus on what it is that you want, the more you take action to get there, and as a result, the more likely you are to get there in the first place. So you have to understand that this vision is so freaking powerful that you can literally achieve anything you set your mind to if you take the right actions. And having the vision is that crucial piece that the goals and the plan and the action kind of revolves around. So it is super, super, super powerful. It also gives you the power of using visualizations as part of your daily routine, like your morning routine, um, and using that tool to keep experiencing that future that just hasn't happened yet in, you know, with as many senses as you possibly can, again, brings you even closer to achieving that because your brain doesn't really know the difference between what you're visualizing and you know what is real life right now so if there is a specific person that you're going to that that you're going to be or that you are already inside of you but you're trying to bring that person out using visualization is super super powerful when you're closing your eyes seeing yourself in that situation that you want so for example if you um if you are looking to become a speaker and you're wanting to go on stage you know when you close your eyes and you play out that scene in your head as if it is a movie that you're starring in and you focus on the things that you hear the things that you see the things that you smell what you're touching the clothes that you're wearing when you go so deep into visualizing that, your brain will take this on as, as if it is reality. And that is super powerful. But when it isn't clear to you what it is that you actually want out of life, 
you won't be able to actually visualize those things. You won't be taking those actions towards the goals because you don't know what the goal is. So these things are all deeply connected and having that set vision is the key piece that has to be in place before you will experience that massive success in your life and in your business. So if you want to join us in working on that vision for your life and your business, then I would love to invite you to come and join the Crush It Club, our membership community for service providers, because next month's piece of content that's coming out, so that is, as I'm recording this, going to be the June 2019 um, masterclass, we're going to be focusing all on creating that vision for yourself. And I can promise you that the more work you do on this, the more progress you will see and the more powerful the whole thing becomes. So we will design the five year you together in all the areas that affect your entire life. So this is not just business related. And then we're going to focus on using the power of visualization to bring that into our reality, into our current reality. So I'm super looking forward to that. We're going to spend the whole month on it. And um, if you want to find out more about the Crush It Club and all the other masterclasses that we already have, then you can go to crushitwithconfidence.com forward slash club and you can find out how to join and everything that's included. And other than that, I will see you for the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.